Hey church, I'm Charlie Say. I'm one of the youth team in Manchester Central Campus. The amazing youth team, I add. And uh, you may have hear some music outside right now because we've just finished our All In Nights and it's for our youth and young adults. And if you're not already booked in as a youth and young adult and not coming, you're missing out. Sorry for the little cheeky plug, but tonight was next level and you need to be here every single week after that because it's fantastic. So we've been doing e-devotions over the last few months on uh, favourite Bible verses to live and stuff like that. So my favourite verse is a classic one and it's something I've had uh, spoken over my life over years and uh, it really uh, grounds me. Uh, my favourite verse is Isaiah 41.10, the NIV version may I add. Uh, so do not fear, I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Another thing that comes out of this, in my opinion, and the question is, is have you ever been afraid? Now, for me, uh, me, I'm married to Molly. She is amazing in every way. Uh, but the one thing I have to do in our marriage, in our apartment complex, we live in certain apartments um, down Westway, uh, and I have to take the bins out. Me. I don't look like a big man, but I have to take the bins out. And it's that's forms me in, in our marriage for me to do that. And now, I don't know about you, if you've ever lived in an apartment, you might know this. Uh, there's communal bins. And now communal bins attract a lot of insects and critters and mice and rats. Ugh. Basically, my point is, sometimes when I take a bin out at night, I'm a bit afraid because I open those wooden doors at the communal bins and I don't know what I'm going to find on the floor in the bins or maybe step on and that freaks me out and that scares me I probably shouldn't be admitting this publicly but I am unfortunately so that is what scares me and um it's pretty similar I think you can apply Isaiah 41 10 to that but the context of Isaiah 41 10 is that the Lord is contending uh with the nations and expressing his sovereignty over human events is the Lord uh, behind the rise of Cyrus the Great, who will come from the east and conquer uh, Babylon and the Babylonians and the wicked Babylonians is what, you know, the Bible says. Um, in the middle of Isaiah 41.10, the Lord contrasts the fate of Israel, uh, I am your God, uh, in v- uh, with, with the fate of Israel for all the nations. In verses 8 to 10, the Lord assures Israel, the offspring of Abraham, that his movement in history is to benefit them. Therefore, they should never, ever not, they should never, ever fear. The Lord will uphold them in these difficult times. I don't know if you know about you, church, but I know fear, if left unbounded, can stop us from having God callings in our life. If we have a fear of being able to do certain things, we're not going to be able to put the bins in the bin. We're not going to be able to take the black bin bag and put it in the communal bin, but we need to take fear, hold and pull it down and be like, do not fear because I know God is with me. And so what helps us overcome this fear? This verse directly challenges this i it's a very declarative verse that i speak over my life i speak over molly's life as well in fact i speak over everyone i know's life because i know help is on the way do not be dismayed discouraged because god is with us i know that god promises to uphold us more than that uh, his promise is to uphold us with his righteous right hand. So this means when you lose your footing, when you lose your way, when you don't know what's happening next, God has got you with his righteous right hand. Throughout scripture, God's right hand is mentioned several times. But historically, to be on someone's right hand is to be of equal honour. God's right hand also symbolises his power and greatness. And I don't know about you, church, but I like to declare uh, God's uh, power and greatness over my life and, and, and over fear. Um, so, so church, whatever you are facing today, whether that be taking out the bins, the communal bins, you're facing a tough time, uh, whatever you're facing, hey, Isaiah 41 10, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let's declare that over ourselves. Let's declare it over yourself, over me, over my Molly, over the church, everyone we see. Let's declare that because God is with you. He upholds you and you do not need to fear. Hey, church, we love you so much. Uh, again, just a cheeky little plug. If you're a youth or young adult, bookings are all in. You're missing out otherwise. Uh, love you, church. Bye.